All right, everybody, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and this, uh, this hour is a, uh, is a vocabulary hour. Now, um, it's, uh, I believe it's listed for, uh, for beginners, but uh, it uh, really is for anybody that wants to uh, uh, practice their, uh, 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 practice some new vocabulary words, um, that wants to uh, learn, learn some new words, learn how we say certain words uh, in English or how we describe certain actions, okay? Um, and then uh, also learn the uh, the names of the pieces of equipment that we use, uh, or the names uh, of the pieces of equipment that are used in sports. Okay, so uh, so that's the uh, the goal here. Um, it looks like it looks like uh, Hangouts is actually acting up. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and log back out and then come right back in. Okay, um, can you guys hear me okay? Yes, I yes. hear you. Okay, all right, could you hear me before? Yes, I, I heard Okay, you. yeah, it, it, was, it was strange. I couldn't see anybody, and uh, Hangouts was very uh, being crazy, and my chat wasn't working, but it looks like uh, chat is working just fine now. Okay, uh, awesome. Well, it's uh, great to have you guys here. Uh, welcome to class, Laszlo. Yeah, as hello, well Chad. as hello, Chen. Hello, mm -hmm. as well as Anne. Good to see you guys again. Hello again. <laughs> All right. So our uh, uh, our link is here in the chat box. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't get I can't get the chat to work. Uh, can you guys see these links that I put in there by chance? I see the these links uh, from the main page. Rubbly. Okay. Yeah, so from from the main page. So you guys, I don't know what's going on with Hangouts and, and whatnot, but the uh, the links aren't. Uh, I can't chat or anything like that, um, or send any information to you. So if you if you want to get the uh, um, the link, okay, to uh, what we'll be uh, taking a look at, all you need to do is uh, go here. Okay, you see, remember where it says uh, up here to join class or whatnot, okay? Um, come down here to where it says class material, all right? This link right here, this is where we have all of the, uh, um, all of our materials for the class. So if I can't put it in the chat box for you, that is definitely a place where you can go to get that, okay? And uh, yes, uh, thank you, Ann. Uh, Ann put it in the uh, Google chat. Um, if uh, if you decide to go in there, so uh, during class I'm actually going to be in in Google Chat because the other chat is not working. Okay, uh, now uh, Susanna, welcome back to class. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Great, Susanna, where are you from? I'm from Hungary. From Hungary, okay, fabulous. It's good to have you here. All right, and uh, action. Welcome to class, action. Thank you, Chad. All right, as well as Amparo, welcome. Thank you. Okay. All right, you guys. So we're going to take a look at uh, some vocabulary words that have to do with with uh, sports. Okay, so uh, some action words for sports, as well as uh, what we call the the pieces of equipment that we use in certain sports. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's see, Luis. Welcome to class. How how are you? I'm fine today, Chad. How are you? 
I'm fabulous. Thank you for asking. All right, you guys. Let's uh, let's go ahead and go to our uh, go to our sheet here. Okay. Um, so we're, it, this covers all different types of sports, as you can see. Okay, we have uh, um, uh, things for gymnastics, baseball, lifting. Okay. Okay, things like that. So we're going to uh, review some of these words. Some of them may be easy for you. Um, others uh, may uh, may not be. Okay. Uh, all right. So um, starting off with uh, with action. Okay. Uh, action. Yeah. Take a look at uh, at this first uh, this first word. Please uh, read the word and tell me what uh, what it's uh, what that would be used for if you know. Um. Balance beam. Okay, and uh, what sport is that used in? Uh, I, I think it's used in, in bodybuilding. Uh, say think. that one one more time. Uh, in, in 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 bodybuilding. In bodybuilding. Um, well, the balance beam could be uh, depending, but it's mainly used in in gymnastics. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. You see when they uh, do all these cool tricks and things like that, all these flips, this is gymnastics. And this here, this is called a balance beam, yeah. okay? A balance beam, all right? Okay, uh, our next yeah, word yeah, here. I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw balance beam also in the bad beginning because of that. Oh, okay, all right. Um, very good. Our next word, Amparo, um, what's this and what's it used for? Barbell. To uh -huh. Barbell. To make exercises for your biceps. Okay, to do. To do. Okay, to do exercises. Yeah, and we and we use it for our uh, our biceps. Okay, you can use it for other parts of the body, but yeah, it's for lifting weights. Okay, and we we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> very good. Um, let's go to uh, Anne. Yeah, uh, we see baseball. Uh, okay. Just... Now this is a uh, a voiceless s instead of baseball. It's base baseball. Base baseball. Uh, Good. S o v. S. Uh, with an s. It's an unvoiced s. s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Base, base baseball. Baseball. It's base. small ball. Uh, from which uh, the game uh, to, takes its name. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, for which the name for the the game is named after, named yes, after. Named after, say. yes. Okay, yeah. So baseball, all right. That's a uh, that's what it is. It's a small white ball. Okay, very good. Let's go to um, Laszlo. Our, our next one. Baseball field. Okay, base. That's a base, unvoiced baseball, s. Baseball field. Good. And what is a baseball field? What does that look like? Uh, this uh, play the baseball game. Okay. Yes, it's where a baseball game is played. You guys, we call that a baseball field. Okay, it's not a baseball court or a baseball place or a baseball stadium. We call it a baseball field. Okay. Sometimes it's located inside of a stadium, but this right here that is a baseball field. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, let's go to uh, Luis. Our next word, please. Baseball glove. Okay, yeah, a baseball glove. All right, and what is a baseball glove used for? Uh, it's very useful when you play golf, uh, baseball, uh, for grab the ball. Okay, um, instead of grab the ball, we use the verb catch, to catch. To catch the ball. Yeah, to catch the ball, okay? And so we use a baseball glove to catch the ball, all right? And um, um, uh, we also would call this a baseball mitt. A baseball mitt. Okay, just like that, you guys, so mitt. Okay, I don't know exactly where it comes from, all right? But, yeah, we would call that a baseball mitt, okay, as well as a glove, okay? 
Very good. All right, let's go to our next word. This is for Rosal. Yes. A baseball player. Good. A baseball player. Okay, and what is a baseball player? The person who plays the baseball. Yeah, very easy. You know, a person that plays baseball. We call them a baseball player. Okay, usually when you have a sport and the person uh, plays that sport, we call them a player. Okay, I know in, uh, um, in some languages like in, in Spanish, Okay, um, you would you would call someone a, uh, a a footballer, all right, or similar to that, okay, uh, or a baseballer, okay. Well, we would not say that, okay. We add a, a separate word: baseball player, a soccer player, a football player, a tennis player, okay. So uh, that that's what uh, that's what we do now. A, a difference would be with swimming. Okay, it would not be a swim player, it would be a swimmer, okay, or a diver, okay, so with uh, swimming, it's a little different, okay, but uh, these other sports, um, uh, we usually say player, okay. Uh, let's go to Susanna. All right, uh, next word, please. Basketball. Good, one more time, basket, basketball. Basketball. Um, players can play with this uh, basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what action, what word can we use when we use, uh, when we're throwing the ball against the ground? What can we call that? Uh, we'll, go, we'll go over one of those in, uh, in just a little bit, uh, another one, but we can say bounce. Okay, so we bounce a basketball. Okay, all right. Now, um, another word for a basketball, you guys, okay, is b-ball. B-ball, okay. It's, it, it would not be baseball, even though baseball has a, another b in it as well. But if someone says, hey, you guys want to go play some b-ball? B-ball is basketball. Okay. All right. Um, also, uh, it, with uh, within basketball, if someone says, "Throw me the rock," uh, so like this, throw, throw me the rock. Okay, that means throw the basketball to me. Okay, so we would also call that the rock. Don't know why, but it's just a word that we use. Throw me the rock. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, let's go to action. Action. Let's uh, uh, please read the next word. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bas bas basketball court. Yeah. Basketball court. Yeah, what is the basketball court? Action. Uh, it's. it's Hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, go ahead. Action. Okay. It's an area uh, where basketball played. Yeah, yeah, very good. Now, um, though it can be within a stadium or in a like a dome type area, we still call this a basketball court. Okay. Now, if it is only um, half of that court, so uh, so for example, um, a basket. Okay. So, for example, in uh, oh, this is a good example right here. So, um, this is a court, but this is what we call half court, half court. Okay. So, if uh, if someone says, "Hey, do you want to play half court basketball?" Okay, half court basketball is when you only play half of the um, half of the court. Okay, so let's say this is a full-size court. Well, if you are playing half court, you do not go past this line. You do not go past it. Um, you would go and you would touch the line and then you would bring it back in. It's like if you were 
playing full court, but you're not running back and forth and back and forth. Okay, sometimes you just have to go to the three-point line, uh, and that would be like taking it out and then coming back. Okay, now uh, when you're looking at a, uh, a basketball basketball court, you guys. Okay, um, uh, right here. This is a great little uh, uh, a great sheet. Okay, so this line that goes around. This is the three-point line. You can see that right there, three-point line. Okay, that means if you shoot the ball or if you throw the ball from there, you score three points. Okay, you score three points. All right, um, this right here is the uh, free throw, not three throw, all right, but free throw free throw line okay if you are injured or something like that or if someone fouls you while you're trying to shoot you get to shoot from there so you guys uh, inside of this the three-point line these these are all worth two points outside of this line those are all worth three okay these shots from this line are are usually worth one point okay so yeah this is a typical basketball court all right if you are playing half court you're only playing on one side Okay, uh, very good. Let's go to uh, let's go to Amparo. Go ahead and read this word for us. Basketball hoop. Okay, now with this word, it is an oo sound. Who hoop? Hoop. Okay, one more time. Basketball hoop. Who hoop? Basketball hoop. There you go. Okay. Now, when we, uh, um, oh yeah, okay. So tell me, tell me about a basketball hoop. What is a basketball hoop used for? Yeah, to to get the points. <laughs> yeah, that's how we that's how we play the game, right? So the the name of the game is to uh, get it inside of the the rim. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at a basketball um, uh, backboard. All right, so um, when you're looking at a basketball backboard, here we go, nice and easy. Okay, um, there's uh, this whole big thing right here. This is called the backboard. Okay, the backboard. Let me write that in there for you guys. Okay, the backboard. Okay, that's where you can uh, um, bounce the ball off that or whatever. This here is called the rim. Okay, so the metal part right here, that is the the rim. Okay, it would also be called the, the, the hoop. Okay, uh, but it is the rim. And then uh, this that's hanging down, this is the net, the net, okay? So when someone say nothing, net, okay, if you're watching basketball or whatnot and someone says, whoa, nothing but net, okay, that means that the ball did not touch the backboard and did not touch the rim. It went right through the hoop and all you hear is swish, okay? And it hits the net. It makes a specific sound, okay? And we say nothing but net, okay? Now this uh, the square here is what you use to uh, point the ball to. That's where you want to hit if you want it to go into the into the hoop here, okay? So that's a, a typical basketball hoop or the backboard there, okay? Uh, very good. Let's go to Anne. Uh, um, basketball player. Okay. Um, it's a sportsman who plays basketball. Very good. A sportsman who plays basketball. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Laszlo. Uh, bat. Uh, we use the, the basketball. Uh, we can uh, hit the bas baseball. Uh, okay. Yes. So a bat is used to hit a baseball. OK, 
Okay, use to hit a... But wait a minute. Isn't there an animal that's also called a bat? Yeah, bat. Is... Bat. bat. Yes. Why, yes, there is. Okay, so this is a bat and this is a bat. Okay, now um, the only way that you know what you are talking about is if you are talking about baseball. And uh, yeah, well, I just uh, I was uh, playing baseball the other day and I grabbed my bat. Okay, so um, uh, usually when you talk about a bat or a baseball bat, you usually use the word baseball with it. Baseball bat, or you you can say words like swing the bat, swing the bat, uh, grab your bat, okay, uh, because you're up, you're gonna you're gonna be uh, uh, the batter, right? Or my, my, uh, your, their, okay. Um, now you typically do not have a pet bat okay so when when someone says my their your uh, bat okay they're usually talking about a baseball bat okay unless they actually have a pet like a dog a pet that is a bat all right um, other than that um, if you're talking about if you're at if you are at night okay and uh, you see uh, you see a bat fly by and you go wow did you guys see that bat it flew by really fast okay so see that bat okay see that bat hear that bat okay things like that um, so that's when you know what you're you're talking about different things so there is an animal that's called a bat but we also use that um, as uh, as the uh, the object to hit a baseball okay all right next uh, next word is for Luis this one right here please Batting helmet. Very good. A batting helmet. What is a batting helmet used for, Luis? What do you think? Um, it's a special helmet to protect your head. Yeah, your to head. protect your head. Okay. Why would we need to protect our head? Because sometimes the ball is heat too fast and it's dangerous for your head uh, yeah yeah so um, this here this is a batting helmet okay it protects your head okay now I'm not exactly sure what the um, the uh, difference is so I'm gonna do um, miles per hour to kilometers um, the professional baseball players throw at, uh, they throw at about 100 miles per hour. Um, did that calculate it for me? So 100 miles per hour is about 160 uh, kilometers per hour is how fast a baseball is thrown. Now, if it uh, is going that fast and it hits your head, ciao you are done okay so typically professional baseball players throw a baseball between 144 or 145 to 160 160 kilometers uh, uh, per hour okay so it comes really really fast so that's why it's a good idea to have a batting helmet it protects your head all right, that's what we call this batting helmet. Uh, a lot of times, uh, we just say helmet. Okay, the helmet, and that uh, uh, people know instead of saying the full word batting helmet, they know what we're talking about. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to Russell. Yes. All uh, right. Billiard. Balls. Uh, go ahead and read this. Uh huh. Uh, billiard balls. Good billiard balls. What are billiard balls? Um, this is a billiard Good. Game. What do you What do you think billiard balls are? Uh, okay. I, uh, this sport is also called pool. Okay. This sport is also called pool. 
so uh, let me uh, let me show you here. Okay. So these would be billiard balls. Okay, billiard balls. Okay, like this. And uh, um, this would be your pool table. Okay, so another uh, or the billiard table. Uh, um, the other word that we use for this, you guys, is pool table. Okay, so we can pool balls. Uh, pool. Now, typically in the United States, um, uh, we say pool. Okay, we, we talk about this sport by and we say pool. We don't really say billiard. All right. I know um, in uh, Central America, okay, uh, they uh, they say billiard. Okay, and it took me a while. The first time I heard it, I was like, "What? What are you going to go play?" I'm like billiard. I like billiard. What's? Bi oh, you mean pool? <laughs> so yes, um, we usually use the word pool when we uh, when we talk about that. But yeah, these are uh, <clears throat> these are the, the the balls that we use. Now, this thing that goes around that's usually made of plastic or wood, that is called the triangle. The triangle. Okay. All right, and uh, very good, uh, Russell. Have you played pool before or billiard? No. no. No? Yeah, no. it's a it's a hard sport. It's difficult. I, I, I don't play it uh, very often. Uh, when I have, it's just been for fun. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to Susanna. Mm -hmm. Susanna, um, mm -hmm. go ahead and read this word for me. <laughs> yes. Uh, bounce. Yeah, and what is he bouncing there? Mm -hmm. In a uh, ball, uh, ball player uh, can do this <laughs> okay a ball player can do that definitely all right what other uh, what other uh, uh, so this here would be a basketball okay what other uh, things would bounce when we're talking about sports what other uh, um, what other type of balls would bounce handball handball good what else how about uh, tennis a tennis ball okay yeah so in any type of ball really uh, would bounce a football uh, American football it bounces but it's funny because it's not round <laughs> it's a, a funny shape and so when it bounces it goes boing and it bounces off someplace else right it's crazy uh, uh, sorry very good. Uh, yeah so that sorry. yes could you please uh, tell me is it a uh, raw pronoun bounce or is it both Bounce. Uh, what, uh, say that the, uh, it is a um, uh, it is a verb. Uh, verb. To to bounce. To bounce. Okay, I see. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, um, we use this word in another way, you guys. Okay, so if uh, if I say. Um, my daughter just fell. I need to take her to the hospital. I've got to bounce. Okay. If I if someone says I've got to bounce, okay, I've or we've or they had to, okay, I've got to bounce. That means I need to leave. Okay. So if you if you're um, in the United States and uh, and someone says, um, all right, guys, I'm gonna bounce. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. That does not mean that they're going to go and bounce a ball someplace. Okay, that just means that they are leaving. Okay, leaving. They're going someplace else. They're going home, uh, going to work. You know, whatever it is. Okay, but uh, uh, to bounce, uh, yes, means to bounce a ball. Okay, or bounce something. Um, but it also means to leave, depending on how you use it. Okay, I've got to bounce. Okay. Um, all right, let's go to our next one here. This is for Amparo. Bow and arrow. Yeah, bow and arrow. Okay, you guys, this would not be bow. Bow and arrow, this is bow. Bow and arrow. 
Okay, and uh, Amparo, tell us about the bow and arrow. Have you shot a bow and arrow before? No, I am not a good sportsman. Uh, well, what's that? What's that? <laughs> bow and arrow, like um, Robin Hood. <laughs> yes, like Robin Hood. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, has the, is there anybody in class that has shot a bow and arrow? Archer. Uh, an archer, yeah. Is there anybody, am I the only one that's done it? I love it. Um, if I had the, uh, the uh, choice between... Ah, hello. Hello again. Uh, we can't hear you. Can't, can't hear you, chat. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I absolutely love shooting a bow and arrow because you have to, it takes a lot more skill, okay, and you have to you know, control your breathing and everything like that. It's, uh, it's actually really cool. I, I enjoyed it. I did it, um, I, I was part of the Boy Scouts when I was younger, and I, uh, one of my, my leaders, one of the guys that would take us uh, camping and whatnot, um, he was a wilderness survivalist. Okay, uh, a survivalist. So let me type that in here. Um, a a um, so so I don't know if you have heard of a man by the name of Bear Grylls. Okay, uh, he has a TV show that's called Man vs. Wild. Okay, Man vs. Wild the Discovery Channel, okay? Um, if you haven't seen it, that's okay. Um, but one of my, the guys that I was in Scouts with, he could do all of that stuff. And so I learned how to start a fire without matches. I learned how to make my own bow and arrow, um, to uh, fish with, it, with a, a bow and arrow, fish with my hands, uh, make nets, all this crazy, fun, cool stuff. But yeah, uh, one of the camping trips we went on, we, we practiced shooting a bow and arrow, and it was great. So if you ever have the opportunity, I highly suggest it. It's very fun. Uh, so yes, a, a bow and arrow like Robin Hood, okay, or the <laughs> archer, okay? Uh, very good. Let's go to Anne. Uh, Anne, our next word here, please. Uh, are we short? Uh, bowling ball? Uh, is it my turn? Uh, I think so. I think Amparo just barely went. So, uh, Anne, you are, you should be next. Okay, bowling ball uh, is a uh, ball which using in uh, bowling play. Yeah, a bowling ball. Okay. Bowling ball. Now, does this ball bounce? Uh, mm, no, because it's heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. Okay, so. Um, uh, even though this is a ball, it does not bounce, okay? It is heavy, okay? Yeah. And it is used to play bowling. So if uh, if you are unaware of what bowling is, yeah, I play okay, bowling. this is bowling. Oh, you you play bowling there? Yeah. Cool. I, I usually play the middle. Yeah, uh, bowling is not... Oh, okay. So um, these would be bowling lanes, and you have the pins down here, okay, and this is the bowling ball, okay, and you roll the ball, and you uh, the purpose is to knock down these pins, okay? This is the game of bowling, okay? So yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting game. This ball, this ball is very, very heavy. Well, not very, very heavy. Um, it's, you know, 10, 15, 20 pounds, depending on how heavy you want the ball. Okay, so yes, it does not bounce, needless to say. Okay, um, uh, very good. Let's go to Laszlo. Uh, bowling shoes. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Schweizer shoes. 
We can use the trolling. Yeah. Now, um, Laszlo, have you been bowling before? Uh, I I not have. Uh, I haven't. Okay. Uh, bowling shoes are um, uh, are interesting. Okay. Let's see here. Um, let me see if it'll show the bottom of the shoe. Uh, it's not going to. Now, bowling shoes, they're us they, they are usually two colors like this. So they have a black and red or something like that or um, maybe a little more stylish. But um, they usually are very slippery, okay? Um, they're, they're, they don't have a lot of traction on the bottom. So let's see. Let's see if it'll show me the bottom. Okay, so here we go. Whoa. All right, so the bottom of the bottom of bowling shoes are like this, okay? They don't have any traction. Okay, I don't know why specifically they they make the shoes like that. Um, but uh, it that this these are the type of shoes you wear, okay? And uh, yeah, so that's uh this is what a bowling shoe would be like. Okay, so yeah, they they have specific shoes. You cannot use any other type of shoe when you go bowling. You uh, you either bring your own or you rent shoes when you go bowling. Okay, uh, very good. Let's go to Luis. Our Box next word here. Boxing gloves. Good. And what are boxing gloves used for? Hmm. I don't know. It's not for cooking. <laughs> it's not. It's not for cooking. Okay. All right. Uh, boxing gloves. Uh, boxing yeah. gloves are are used to hit people in the face. Yes. Okay. Are there any uh, boxing lovers out here? Does Does anybody really enjoy watching boxing? Yeah. Not at all. When uh, our yeah. uh, famous boxer Klitschko takes part in box, I even uh, see the match. See okay. The all right, Amparo, you say you don't like boxing at all? Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else enjoy boxing? Yeah. I use it. Okay. So, Susanna, a little bit. I do. Okay. Think so, we use this. Okay. Yeah, so these these are called boxing gloves, all right, and they're they're used to uh, hit and punch. Okay, very good. Those are, those are very popular in Rocky movies. Yeah, Rocky very one, good, Rocky yeah. two, Rocky seven. I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah, they're very popular in the Rocky movies. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to Russell. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, uh, go ahead and read that word. Karate? All right, that is a cart, cart wheel. Cart wheel. Good, one more time. Cart wheel. Cart wheel. Excellent. Now, um, in what, what kind of a sport would we do a cart wheel? Mm. This is just a uh, uh, not jumping one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know moving your body. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. So you uh, can do it in uh, in um, you know exercising. Okay. Um, yes, but uh, cartwheels. Cartwheels come um, specifically in, from gymnastics and like cheerleading and things like that. Okay, um, so yeah, it's it's uh, doing this action. Okay, so you'll see this a lot in in uh, gymnastics. Okay, where they where they flip over just like this. Okay. And um, also, like on the the horse, this is a, well, this is n the uh, um, not the horse, uh, almost there. But yeah, they would do this type of somersault thing. Okay, um, that is a 
a uh, cartwheel. Okay, cartwheel. Definitely very popular in gymnastics. You can also do it in uh, in exercises, in, like if you're at the gym. The gym, okay. Um, very good. Uh, let's go to uh, Susanna. Catch. Okay. Catch. Okay, what does it look like he is catching there? Uh, in this picture, uh, the boys uh, catch the baseball. Good, yeah, so he's catching a baseball. And this is the, uh, the verb that we would use, to catch. Okay, we catch the baseball and uh, we hit. When we use the bat, we hit the baseball. Now, what, uh, what other sports... Um, and what other sports do uh, do we catch things? Basketball. Football. Basketball. Yeah, good. And football. Uh, American football, you can if you play uh, football like uh, the rest of the world knows it, like soccer. Um, the goalie, the goalie can catch the ball. He's the only one that can use his hands. Yes, yes. I mean this. Okay, yeah, so the goalie would catch it. All right, um, how about rugby? Rugby is another sport um, where, where you could catch the ball and run with it. All right, yeah, so catching, catching is, is typical in, in uh, some sports. Not all sports, but, uh, but some, definitely. Okay, uh, good. Let's, uh, let's go to our next word here. Okay, Amparo. Cycling helmet. Yeah, cycling helmet. And uh, what uh, what is this used in? And what is it for? Protect your your head when you are practicing with your bike. Mhm. Mm yeah. So uh, a cycling helmet is used for biking. Okay. Um, while biking, let's see here. Might get might give me a motorcycle. Okay, so awesome. So um, these uh, these have to be designed specifically, especially if you you are uh, going to be a racer. Okay. Um, now, why why could you not wear a helmet like a a baseball hat? Like you remember the baseball helmets. Okay, why do these have a, a special design? Okay, what do you think, Amparo? Because of the speed, you are against the oh, air, okay. the flow of the air. Yeah, so the air flow, you want, uh, you want something that will, that will cut the air, all right, and, and make it so it does not make you go slower. All right. Um, so yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the purposes as well. So yes, to protect your head, but also uh, while protecting you, you don't want a helmet that will slow you down. Okay. So yeah, she's gonna uh, angle her head down like this, and the air will come. All right, and uh, and move around that helmet uh, nicely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, let's go to our next. Next word here, Anne. Uh, yeah, uh, dance. Uh, it's simple. Uh, a lot of people like to dance. I like to dance. Um, okay. What what sort of dances do you like to do? Uh, only in, in some disco. Uh, it isn't so too important for me which what kind of music. I can dance on every music. So uh, it's uh, only like uh, to have a good time, not uh, uh, as sports dancing as we have. So okay. Competition. Uh, uh, yeah, some some people uh, dance for competition. Others uh, others do it for for exercise. There's another one of my students here. Um, her name's Lily. She does uh, Zumba, which is like a dance exercise type uh, type thing. Uh, so yeah, dancing uh, dancing is is great exercise. It's a great sport. In my opinion, you have to be very talented uh, to dance well. Uh, I say that because I cannot dance at all. I'm a terrible dancer, and I wish I was better. 
<laughs> so yes, uh, dancing. Dancing's great. All right, very cool. Um, let's go to uh, our next one here. This is for Laszlo. Go ahead and read that word for me, please. Deep knee bend. Okay, a deep knee bend. Bend. All right. And when uh, when would we use a deep knee bend? What do you think, Laszlo? I think I think uh, gymnastic. Okay, good. And gymnastics. When else? Warm up. Uh, say that again. And uh, when else? Warm up. Okay, so warm. Yeah, doing a warm up. Warm up. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, um, in what uh, what part of the body would this be warming up? If you do a deep knee bend. Uh, the legs. The legs. Yeah. So your 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 quads. All right, and your glutes or your butt, okay? Yeah. All right, so your quads and your glutes, yeah. So it would warm up those uh, those areas of your of your body, okay? And be used in gymnastics. It could be used in exercise as well, okay? Doing uh, what we would call body weight squats, okay? Very good. Uh, let's go to Luis. We'll take a look at a verb, okay? Go ahead, Luis. Uh, read that. Uh, read that uh, verb for us, and uh, tell us when we use that. Uh, to dive. Uh, a special sport, uh, especially in the Olympic Olympic Games, mm -hmm. when people go to the very very height and start to do different shapes until dive into the water. Okay. Yeah, those uh, those people are called divers. All right? And they uh they uh they do olympic diving and they do uh somersaults or they do flips uh until they they uh dive into the water, okay? And uh so you guys, um when you dive, that means you are jumping in head first. If you jump in feet first, that is not called diving. Okay, that is called jumping. Okay, so jumping into the water, that is feet first. If you dive into the water, that means your hands and your head are going first. Okay, so yes, there is a difference. Now, we use the word to dive in another way. So, for example, if, uh, if, uh, if we work together, all right, Luis. Uh, so we work together, and uh, um, I'm I'm in my office cubicle, and I'm uh, I'm working away or something like that. And uh, Luis, you come up, you say, "Hey, Chad, it's twelve o'clock. I'm starving. Uh, do you want to go get something to eat?" I I may say, oh, Luis, thank you though. Thank you, man. Uh, I'm 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 really busy, and I'm about to dive into a new project. Okay, I'm gonna work through lunch today. Okay, I'm about to dive into a new project. If I use the word dive that way, okay, what do you think that means? I'm about to dive in to a new project. To start? To start. Yeah, I'm about to get started. I'm about to uh, begin. Okay, so I'm about to dive into a new project. I'm about to dive into my homework. Okay, I'm getting ready to dive into my homework. Yeah, to start something. All right, now we only use it for for things like that, for work, for homework. Okay, I would not say, man, my car, it's not diving right now. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. Why won't the Why won't the car dive? All right, so we don't use it when we're talking about starting a car. Okay, starting uh, um, you know starting a machine. Okay, we don't use dive in that sense, um, but uh, but if we were going to uh, um, dive into vocabulary words, okay, yeah, we would start into those. We would begin to learn about those. Okay, so we use uh, we use dive when we're when we're going to be learning or doing uh, doing uh, uh, certain types of work. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, the other way that we use the word dive. Uh, let's go to Russell. Okay. All right, Russell. Um, read this next word here. Go ahead. Drive, drive. Very close. The word is 
dr dribble. Try that, please. Dribble. Dribble. Good. One more time. Dr dribble. Dribble. Excellent. And uh, what does it look like? What does it look like uh, is being dribbled? Uh, I think she she hit the basketball. Good. On her yeah. So she's she's dribbling, dribbling the basketball. Okay. Now there is a difference, you guys. You may say you may uh, look here and say, well, she's also bouncing. Okay. The difference is is that when we dribble, we are also moving. Okay, dribbling usually means that you are moving either backwards, forwards, or to the side. So as you see, um, she is bouncing the ball, but also moving her feet. Okay, she's running. Yes. Okay, yes. so dribbling, dribbling means that you are moving and bouncing. Okay, now we also use the word dribble when we talk about soccer. Okay, so when they are moving the ball between their feet and they're running downfield, okay, that is also called dribbling. Okay, uh, so we use that in both uh, basketball as well as in soccer. Okay, uh, very good. Let's go to Suzanne. Susanna, sorry. Elbow pad. And okay, elbow pad. Try that one more time. Elbow, elbow pad. Elbow pad. This can protect my elbow. Yeah, they protect your elbows. Um, okay, and and when would you when would you wear these? When would you wear these uh, uh, elbow pads? When you have, a, have a, an injury, you can uh, use this in okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, for any type of sports. Um, any, uh, any sports in particular? Volleyball. A volleyball, yes, you, may, you, you might use uh, elbow pads. Okay. How about, how about uh, uh, skateboarding? Yeah. Okay, skateboarding, you, the, 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 the uh, skateboarders tend to fall a lot. Okay, how about uh, roller skates? Okay, um, roller skates, uh, uh, skateboarding, things like that. That's when, that's when they, um, they mainly um, wear uh, uh, elbow pads. Okay, you, could, you can wear elbow pads and other, other type of, of sports, uh, indoor volleyball. Biking. Uh, biking, yeah, definitely you can wear it there. Okay. All right, but yeah, so they, they're used for protection, to protect your elbows. All right, and okay, let's go to our next word here, and this is for uh, Amparo, and this will be our last one for this hour, you guys. Go ahead, Amparo. Exercise bike. Okay, exercise bike, and what is an exercise bike used for? It. Uh, legs, did you say? Uh, cardio exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cardio, working your heart, working your legs. All right, mm -hmm. this is for uh, uh, for uh, strengthening muscles, all right, and building endurance. Okay, very good. Yeah, so that um, uh, that is uh, it, it's a uh, typical typical piece of machinery. Okay, or a typical uh, uh, ex piece of ex exercise equipment in a gym. Okay, you'll you'll definitely see exercise bikes. All right. Okay, you guys. Uh, thank you for coming to class. Whoops, my light is on there. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming to class. It was great having you here. I'll probably uh, continue with this tomorrow and finish it up, and uh, we may go on to some other vocabulary words or uh, um, some other uh, another topic or whatnot uh, after that. But um, that's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's our class for this hour. Thank you for coming here. That sheet is yours, okay, uh, to keep and, and take a look at if you are interested in uh, moving ahead and taking a look at uh, more words, okay? All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks we'll see you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you, Chad. Bye. Bye.